Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan here from Nine Miles, and today I'm going to review another Japanese mini fast food hamburger meal. It's by Crazy, and I did a pizza review, and here's another mini fast food uh, meal, and this time it's hamburgers. So, you have two hamburgers here, you have little flags sticking out of the top, you have french fries, and that looks like another drink. So, let's just check, out, check it out, see what's inside. And once again, it's all in Japanese, so I'm going to do my best to make this last uh, meal, the pizza meal, turned out decently, but not great. It did taste good, though. All right, so it shows little uh, scissors right here, so I guess you just cut on this line. So with these things, everything basically has a purpose. Whatever you get, uh, whatever you know, directions they say, it all has a purpose. For example, um, right here, these are your uh, drink little, this is for your drink, and this, this uh, is for your french fry, so you have to cut that out. Okay, so we have a stirring, a couple utensils. We have the cup, your little container thing. All right, so you probably will have to cut this. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to look at the directions. Cut this out. Three packets here. And three packets here. So actually more packets than I was expecting, but um, that's what it takes to make your burger. So first you just want to cut the uh, plastic piece right here. So you cut the side. This is according to the directions. I'm looking at it. It's the first thing you do. And you have the three uh, circular things right here. Cut that out and just cut this. So there you go. So I'm going by the uh, color coordination right here. Uh, you have different colors and I believe that corresponds with the uh, packets. So the first one is the orange and that makes the french fries and it's kind of a little um, mold right down here. So you just dump it in and you use this little thing right here. That's your liquid. So there we go. Pour it in and you take on the package this looks blue. It kind of looks greenish blue in person. You just stir that up. It gets thick. Um, I don't know if this is the right packet. Let me smell it. Um, huh. Not sure. This might be the bun. Hmm. Okay, so it says put it in the microwave, and I'm just going to assume this is the correct. Uh, the colors do match up, so I'm going to just assume it's right. Put it in the microwave for a bit and see how it turns out. Okay, so this thing is hard as a rock. It completely gelled up in the microwave, which is really surprising. And you kind of just cut it out here. I mean, it's really amazing, actually. This thing just completely gelled up. So there are your french fries. And you simply cut them. Mm. 
Okay, there you go. All right. So, my plate. And if I completely mess this up, this up, it's part of the fun. Just just go with it. All right. Next, uh, looks like the burger patty. So, let's see here. We got the shapes. Shows the middle. So, I'm going to cut this packet right here. Okay, so I think you divide these for the different burger patties. Uh, I'm really not sure based on the directions. But let's just go with that. Let's try to press this down. So yeah, put it in the microwave and it hardens up. And it kind of looks like a burger patty here. Smells good. All right, there we go. Those are two burger patties. And let's put these to the side here. Uh, next, I believe the cheese. So this is the cheese and you use I'm not really sure. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. You mix it up in here and then you put it in the, in the molds. So you mix it up in this thing and you use the little container. So there we go. I believe it says two. I'm gonna try one. Yeah, I think another one has a little two thing on it. Okay, another one, here we go. Needs a little bit more water, I think. Okay. smell it yep and it definitely definitely smells like cheese and I'm just gonna load it in the mold here okay one and two and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave now all right the cheese is done it's not quite as uh, yellow as I was expecting but not too bad there we go. All right. And then next we're, yeah, so that was the cheese. And let's see what else we have. We have this, let's see, let's see what else. I think this is the drink, I believe. The blue packet, that's a mystery. I am not sure, based on the directions, what the blue packet is for. This is a total mystery. Um, hmm. Not sure. I'm gonna, let's see. What could it be? Maybe this is ketchup. Oh, no, no. This is the drink maybe. This is ketchup. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, this this is ketchup. Here we go. Oops. Okay, and I'm just gonna put some water into it. All 
Actually, I don't know. This might be the drink. Let me smell this. Yep, yep, yep. This is the drink. This is root beer. Okay. So, I'm going to have to use the cup. Okay. And just stir this up here. And I'm going to pour it in the drink cup. Let me taste it. Yep. That's root beer. Okay. So, this is the ketchup. Here we go. Let me clean this out. Okay. Get some of this water here. And let's save that for later. That's what it looks like so far. And let's try the mystery blue packet. I have no idea what this is. The directions really don't say. Let me smell it. Hmm. Don't know what this is. Okay. Mix this up. Hmm. Maybe this is cheese. Maybe these are the buns. And this is the cheese. Okay. That could that could be it. Let me try this again. I'm gonna put these in the mold. Or this, these could be french fries actually, okay. Let me get the mold here. Let me find the mold, where's the mold? Okay, let's just use this. Put this. Actually, let's let's use this. Okay, so I'm gonna put some ketchup on here. Okay, there we go. Put some ketchup on the burger. Now if this is cheese, is this french fries? I'm not really sure. But let's put this in the french fry mold. And the directions say use your finger to press it down, which I'm doing. All right, so the, uh, what I believe are the french fries are done. And just take them out of the mold here. And I'm gonna cut them up one by one. They're very crisp, coming out of the microwave. Okay, so there we go, there are french fries. And all we have to do now is cut out this little foil right here, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we have a french fry foil right here. That's where the french fries go. And then this is for our drink. All right, so does it look anything like the picture? Leave in the comment section if you think it does or does not. And that's the final product. So I definitely messed up on the bun. 
but let's just put the cheese on it and let's just pretend this is the bun right here. And I was just going by the color coding on the directions. Uh, I can't read Japanese, unfortunately, but this will do. So we got one sandwich and it looks maybe more like a club sandwich than a hamburger, but I guess close enough. And the bun is probably the most impressive part. It's amazing. It almost, I mean, you, you can see kind of the holes and the texturing of the bun. Let me zoom in on that. It almost looks like biscotti or something like that. But it does, on the inside, it definitely does look like a bun. Pretty cool how that works. I mean, it's just amazing. You mix these chemicals. You don't know exactly what they are. And they just form these products, especially when you, know, when you microwave them. So french fries right here. We have the root beer. We have the uh, bun, hamburger, cheese, and bun on top. So let's try out one of these hamburgers here. Well, actually, let's first try the french fry. And not too bad. Doesn't taste like much. I'm gonna taste the root beer. And that's pretty, pretty bad root beer. And finally, let's taste the hamburger here. The hamburger actually doesn't taste too bad. Ketchup tastes spot on, definitely tastes like ketchup. Uh, the meat isn't too bad. Cheese uh, doesn't really taste like cheese. But yeah, I would say the other product I reviewed, the uh, pizza, I would say the pizza tastes much more like an actual pizza. Hamburger, not that close to an actual hamburger and french fries and root beer. Uh, meal but definitely uh, really interesting really fun so uh, I definitely do recommend these things uh, if you're bored and you want to make a mini meals uh, just for fun I think these are a cool product and uh, definitely recommend them you're not really spending that much and they're a lot of fun especially if you can replicate how they look on the cover so thanks for watching my videos if you like them please subscribe and if you want to support them go to patreon.com slash nine all right thanks for watching